Okay guys, I am starting the drawing. According to the question, this is supposed to be 34. So I have placed 17 on each side. The 34, 17 on each side. 17 and 17 gives me the 34. Now we have no distance from here all the way up to here. So I am just estimating and I am I have drawn this line upward and I'll just be starting at a random point and from there the entire drawing will come out. So the point, you see no, no size was given from here to there so I'm just choosing a random point there and from there everything will be starting. Assuming that you have chosen your point up there, now we need to draw this 30 degrees. Two ways of doing it, you can use your set square or you can measure with your protractor but make sure that it is 30 degrees from this vertical line also this line right here is perpendicular to this line that was drawn 30 degrees so perpendicular means that they are supposed to be at 90 degrees so this right here is supposed to be 90 so if this is 30 the entire thing is 90 then this is supposed to be 60 degrees many ways of doing it using your set square or your geometry of or your protractor just make sure that that line there is 90 so i have it here in my drawing from the point that i chose this is the 30 degrees this is the 60 and together 30 and 60 gives me the 90. okay guys if you notice i have these lines that i have drawn parallel to this this is just keeping in line with the question that this space right here, the space that is inside of this spanner is supposed to be 40. So all I did from the center, I have drawn this line here, which is the 90 degrees. This is the 30. I measured 20 on this side, 20 on that side, giving me a total of 40. So these are the lines that I have here. I have drawn the 90. From there, we draw parallel lines. Uh, the lines just mean at the same angle, we don't have to be drawing those arcs that we normally draw. And then, measure the 20, 20, we have those lines there. Now also, I notice that the tip of this spanner is 13. And if you notice, if I were to draw this line here, that is 13, the tip of the spanner, and it matches with the next one right here, which I have written that it is 13. So that's what I have on my drawing here. The center, I draw this line and measure on this line that I have drawn 13 and on this side here 13. Alright, the next step is to get these radius here or the arcs that are more clear to us and I notice that this here is a radius of 23 for us to draw this arc here. Also, it says that from the center you have a radius of 53 to draw another arc there. So we will see how much of that we can get. So the first one is 23. What I have placed here in my paper is a radius of 23 and a radius of 53 just for precision. So the first one is 23, we have it exactly there at 23, there. So I come to the center of my drawing and I will be drawing the first arc which is a radius of 23. And I believe that this line, these lines, if you notice these lines that are at 40, are supposed to cut and this radius 23, and that where it marks the beginning and the end. Next one, radius of 53. So if I were to open my compass to a radius of 53 to get the arc that is outside, this here for position this here is a radius of 53 so I come to the center and I will repeat this would be the outside of the spanner so how much of that we need the next the next arc will tell us so that's where we are right now 
Okay, the next step is to draw the arc that will be tangent, the, sorry, that will be passing through this point, which is, which is the tip of the spanner and tangent to this arc over here. This arc I just extended its distance because I don't know how much of that I will need. So, passing through this point, tangent to this arc, tangent to this point, sorry, passing through this point, tangent to this arc. So I have here, according to the question, that it's supposed to have a radius of 30. And I notice that the center is somewhere there, I will show you why. Same thing, radius 30, and this one here seems to be at that point there, I will show you why. This is our objective, we're looking for the center of the arc that will pass through this point and be tangent to this arc here. So, I have set my compass here to a radius of 30. As you can see here, radius of 30, precise, and now come, I place the center of my compass at the tip of the spanner because my arc must pass there, and I am trying to look for the center of the circle, so I draw an arc. Now, the same thing I do for the other side, this is the tip of the spanner, 13. I will draw an arc, I don't know where that center will be. So I draw this arc, I'm trying to look for the center. Something else I know, and this is why you will notice that this right here is the center. This is the center for the one that comes here. According to the book, that's what you notice there, but I need to explain why. Why? Because this arc, that we will be drawing is supposed to be inside of this next big arc right here if i were to extend this you will notice that this arc is inside because it's inside remember it is subtraction so i have placed it here the radius of the big arc of this one right here that is outside is 53 53 minus the 30 which is the radius of our one gives me 23 and if you would remember prop correctly we already had 23. This 23 is right here. From the center of the circle, I'm supposed to draw 23, but I already have it here. That's the 23. To both of them. To the one at the top and the one underneath. That's 53. So this right here, 53 minus the 30 gives me the 23. These two are the centers of the circle. Okay, so this is the moment of truth where we draw the arc. This is the center passing through this point, tangent to this arc. Center passes through this point, tangent to this arc. We take our compass, radius 30 as the book stated. Passes through that point, tangent to the arc. You see the head of the spanner is starting to be formed. Passing through this point. Tangent to the arc. So I believe that now you're seeing the, the head of the spanner. You see how I extended these lines here? That will be the inside of the spanner.